Hi, this is Rob Longevity Learning Lab. And you know, looking at this thing, and I brought it home over the weekend here, and I kinda, I don't like it. I'm gonna change it up a little bit. This is gone. Take this out of here. That's gone. Cut this off, this is the old sprocket. We're gonna put this on a new sprocket. Now I got a new sprocket and a new bearing and a mount for the turntable. I like this better. This is actually off of a little quad runner. And uh, got the sprocket off this too. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna take that bicycle sprocket and weld it on to this sprocket here because this sprocket is made for this bearing. There's actually even a brake on here I set up. And uh, that way there, we still got our motion. Plus this is a little different. I'm gonna switch this up too. But what I'm gonna do is take this off also and then we're gonna mount this to our tubing here a little bit more secure I liked it better plus I don't have any chance of any rockage this was just the prototype now we're going to a revision revision A now we're gonna keep the smaller sprocket the same and we want to keep it down here because what I liked about this bearing here it will go down farther I just have to make the bracket and I'll show you and it's just it's tighter it's just more fundamentally sound it's it's better I like that and then uh, I've got the the on off switch and the speed regulator set up already and I'll show you about that but this is the main thing we're gonna change up on our little little experiment like you know all my episodes are like this and so I'll show you how I'm gonna weld this sprocket to the other half of the other sprocket and uh, keep it nice and flat nice and straight and we'll be right back. First thing we're going to do is make our sprocket. Okay, now we've got our original sprocket for the motor, but we want a more tooth. We want a better ratio on that. So I've got the, the other bicycle sprocket here that I just cut in half, but the radius on the inside of this sprocket works good for the radius on the inside of this one. So we have to line that up. It's like that. It's like that. And then on the two halves, I've got it beveled here where I cut it with the our plasma. But when I weld it, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it there and hit it there and there, and then make sure it's all nice and flat. But before I even do that, you wanna have a starting point on your table, little little table area. So what I did, I got a piece of uh, 3 8 flat stock here, and make sure it's all nice and flat, all the way around. That way we know this is gonna be as flat as we can. You can back step it with a little shim underneath for the warpage when, it, when you get it hot, but the big thing is you don't want to go ahead and get it hot that much. So we'll go ahead, we'll get this on here and clamp it down and uh, we'll weld it up. And yeah, I figured I was gonna change my mind on making this anyway, so at least now I know I get it out of my way. So we'll get some clamps going on here and then we'll tap it around and get my welder set up. And then I'll show you how I'm gonna weld it and go from there. Okay, now I've got it all nice and clamped down it's all nice and flat put my straight edge got a little bit of bevel there but the thing is I'm going to tack it here first and then we'll make sure it's all nice and connected a good thing that wasn't an aluminum rim, uh, sprocket huh it up better and clean it up and so far I've only spent what ten dollars on this whole project so far and then I'll finish welding this up here Okay, that's tacked. Let me go ahead and let this cool down and then I'll flip it over and weld the other side because now we really want to make sure it's nice and flat. Okay, it looks a little different now, doesn't it? Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to go just the opposite direction. That's how much I, I changed this around. 
And uh, so what we're gonna do here now, we're gonna modify this mount to fit our sprocket and our table because it's just a better, doing the math wise, it's just better looking. And it just, it adds up better. So I'm gonna go ahead and modify the whole thing and we're gonna go to a, another little revision. What, what I, what I wanna do here is cut a, a little hole here so this will sit in. So the sprocket for this will be better linear wise with, uh, with the other sprocket. And I got lucky because on our turntable, instead of using this, I got two rims and I was able to get, have another one and I'm modify that and that'll go on top. Then I'll have my, my turntable on top of that. And so uh, let me go ahead and just keep moving along with this and might make it into an epic.